Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to create the bottom navigation bar so that whenever we click on any bottom navigation bar item it should navigate to a particular page. So for that we are not using any sort of dependency there is inbuilt classes. So I have already created four pages that is favorite page, home page, profile page, settings page. So let's quickly create a new page which will be holding all these pages and which will be holding bottom navigation bar so let's give it name main page let's create stateful widget main page i will let you know why i have created this stateful widget so let's return this scaffold and just add the app bar let's add the body for body let's add center and then child text hi so let's just run this and cross check it first of all go to main and instead of showing this home page we will be showing main page and save this okay so that's fine now let's go to main page back and instead of showing this center high we have to show the page so just before modifying this let's do what let's use the property of the scaffold that is bottom navigation bar and give it bottom navigation bar and here we have some important properties so one of them is items that is required so here we will define the items bottom navigation bar item and here you can specify some icon let's give it icon icon start let's give it for favorite favorite let's give it this one and yep and second property is there that is also required for this that is label so label you need to pass the string so this would be let's say favorite and since it is a const so we just mark it const for the time being later on we will change it and we will remove the const so this is for one item so it is mandatory to add at least two items in order to work with this so let's save this and cross check it okay so you can see now there are two items over here so what i do first of all i will design all these items so let me just change this to home and just make it to home save this okay so same way i will add two more profile that is for do we have person icon something yep and then the next one is for settings and just use settings save this okay so we have added four and you can see this is not visible over here let's go back to three and you can see it is coming over here i'll just un uncomment this and come back here to the bottom navigation bar i will try to use some property that is show unselected labels false so once something is unselected it should be false and same way there is another property let me just add one more comma here show selected labels true save this so you can see this is visible over there but the color we need to change because of the color of this so let's do what give it a unselected icon or item color let's give it color start 
display and select it color item okay and i just make it any color of your choice let's give it purple save and you can see what is happening the selected item is getting this color and rest of the items are of gray color and unselected items are not showing any text because of this property okay so next you can see if i tap on this nothing happens but before that there is one more property that is current index so currently by default the index is zero that is the favorite one if i give it to one you will be able to see the home is selected if i give it two it would be profile and same way for three it should be settings so since these indexes will change at runtime that's why i have taken this as a stateful widget okay so i will maintain this as a variable value so instead of using this static value over here we will simply say uh, let's give it name bottom index and i will create this variable over here on the top go here and you can specify whatever index you want so i just want home by default so i just give it one because it is on second place which is index one okay save this now you can see it is selected home now what i want i want if i tap on any of these it should be selected at least for that there is another property on tap so on tap will take one function with a value so this value would be whatever value you are clicking on so this value we can assign to this variable okay so what we can do simply say set state and simply say bottom index is equal to value save this let's check it out you can see now we can select these bottom navigation bar items now we left with changing this design so that whenever i tap on any of these items a corresponding page should open okay so for that i need first of all a reference of all the pages so what i do i just go here i will create one list of you can say widgets all my pages are widgets and i will say pages is equal to i will say const list because we have all the const pages the first page i want favorite page second page i want home page third page i want profile page fourth page is settings page okay so this is done save this now what i need to do instead of displaying the center part i have to use here this array so i will simply say pages and on which index so we are already keeping the index of this items so i will pass this index over here let's save it and you can see immediately your favorite page is coming over here and for home you are able to see this home for profile this is a profile for settings this is a setting but we have one problem over here so we are able to see two app bars so what we can do just go to this main page and from this we can remove the app bar with this each page would have their separate app bar but if you want to use a common app bar then you can add your app bar over here and you can remove it from individual page so i just do it individual so that it should not be a common so i will delete this main page app bar i don't want a common so just save it and you can see now if i go to favorite the app bar is coming for favorite home profile settings 
let's take a look here uh we have just one extra import let me delete this so that is all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe thank you